This word is not for everybody. Seek the Lord for confirmation. G'day, I'm Rachel and this is First Fruit Taz. You don't see a lot of me on YouTube at the moment. God has me very busy establishing a childcare ministry that is going to grow exponentially. Praise God. And also I facilitate a meeting on Australian Sundays, which is an American Saturday night. And it finishes up currently round about when Europe is waking up. Now, I woke up nice and early this morning and sought God. And initially he had me read Habakkuk and read right on through. I'm trying to think of the order, but it includes Habakkuk, Zechariah, um, finishes with Zechariah, um, Haggai and Zephaniah. So those were the books that he had me read before I received a word from him this morning. The word is this. I'm going to pour out blessings upon blessings on the remnant. This season is gone to the dogs for all others. For I see a vessel, visual of a small glass bottle, and I knew that the vessel was the remnant. For I see a vessel that is ready to be filled to overflowing with my goodness. I don't speak these things lightly. Others suffer for the reasons given in scripture. I am not a man that I should lie. How dare they hold my word with contempt. I am disgusted. Am I the great clown? My children are led astray to such an extent that purification is impossible. They don't cry out my name in adversity. They know not that I am their maker, creator of all things. I am disgusted and broken hearted all at once. For my children have been led astray by the accuser of the brethren. It is my heartfelt wish that my children return to me. But oh, the shaking they must endure in this season if I am to see it through to completion. Woe to my children. No eye has seen, no ear has heard the extent of the shaking coming upon them in this season. I'm going to open the floodgates to pour out my goodness in this season to those who are worthy. They know who they are. For I have been raising up an army in secret. I will bring them forward for all to see. The nations will quake as my remnant army steps forward, cool, calm and collected to visit restitution on the land. The incumbent will be returned to office. My goodness awaits those who heed the call, for my greatness is beyond description. And just as I am great in my goodness, the extent of evil in this land is beyond redemption, a great undoing of the great unrest. That is what is required of this season. The trumpet blast has been sounded and I am going to pause in silence only a little while before I slam down my fist in judgment. I am going to the far off nations, to the ends of the earth, to take my decree to every nation and tongue. There will be no escape from my wrath for the wicked. It is time. It is time. I am going to see to it that my goodness surrounds my little children who responded to my call in their lives, leaving all behind to follow me and represent me on earth. I am going to see to it that my goodness provides the protective barrier they require in order to get through this season unscathed. So fall to your knees, Babylon. It is not too late to call on me and ask in this hour of supplication that I consider your virtue and weigh your heart. Do you have faith? Or do you fear man? Do you walk upright? Or do you crawl before dogs? Who leads you? I or another darker miscreant one? I am going to give my children this one last opportunity to settle the balance in this favour. But repentance means a change of direction, not empty words. Empty words will not be enough to swing the balance. For my children have gone through the fire, a process of purification that would horrify most. Many cannot share their story, for they would be disbelieved. And yet in their goodness they rise up in this season to take their place, to hold my standard high among an army of warriors, priests and apostles. These are the people you rejected. You cast them out. Woe to you. Woe to you. How many think they have my protection when in fact they rely instead on man-made constructs? I'm giving in to adversity this day because it's the only thing that purifies a heart of man. Just as a parent is grieved when a child falls, I am heartbroken at the extent of the shaking you must endure. But if souls are to be truly saved, not just prettied with deceptive makeup to appear befitting royalty, 
No, it is not sufficient to talk the talk. No longer will I tolerate such idolatry. No longer will I tolerate empty words. It's my way or the highway, and I am going to give you the discipline required to bring you into alignment with my will. If not, you will be stuck outside and never enter in. So repent while you can. September 17 marks Yom Kippur. Repent while you can. This is a message of love and encouragement. Soon you will see a revival the likes of Azusa Street, and you have seen nothing yet. I received this message on the morning of the 13th of September, so we just have a few days left before the books are sealed um, for the new Jewish year. So I do encourage those of you who do not understand the significance of Rosh Hashanah and of Yom Kippur, please, please look into that and, and certainly find out for yourself what true repentance is really is it's really critical that as many people as possible get right with god get right with god before the 17th of september i pray that he give you eyes to see and ears to hear holy father in jesus mighty name i pray i pray i pray that you give my viewers revelation and inspiration so that they can fulfill their destiny in alignment with you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Holy Father, I thank you for placing this video before those you intend to receive it. Financial support is welcome and donations can be made by selecting the link in the details box below this video.